decided to do some Ayurvedic hair treatment. This is a treatment that I've been doing for years. Sometimes I forget about it because it takes a lot of time. Indians been using this um, these um, herbs to do their hair for years. No wonder why they have such beautiful, shiny, thick hair. I kind of eyeball how much I need. So there's no specific amount that you're supposed to pour. It depends on how thick your hair is or how long your hair is. So it's going to differ for everyone. Also, you notice that I'm using plastic and wood utensils to do my hair. Because of um, what is made out of, it's best that I use plastic and not metal. That's how it is for clay. I, use, I do clay wash, but I don't think these powders have that issue. But just to be safe, I just try to keep it plastic and wood throughout. So I am washing my hair now. I'm not using any clear wash. I'm just using regular shampoo because it's, I've had the braids on for a while. So I needed some good deep wash. Why do I look like I'm in pain? I don't understand. But I love the Design Essential Avocado Shampoo. Oh, it's so good. I use it. My husband uses it. After you finish using it, you know, washing your hair with it, your hair is still so nice and soft. All right, so you just finished washing, wash this hair. It was quite dirty because it's been embraced for for a while now. And if you can see, I'm like, and this is excluding what's in the tub. But it's postpartum shedding, so one is multiple shedding because I had my hair in for on my braids in for a while. It's shedding from that, and then postpartum shedding. I have postpartum hair loss in the front. Right here and right here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my hair alone for a while before I braid again because I don't put too much tension um, on my hair. So now I'm just going through before I go in with the with the treatment. I'm just going through with just breaking through the hair to um, take out all the not all but a lot of the shedding out. Also, because I washed my hair twice, I'll start by a third time, but I was just like, no, nah, I don't want to strip my, strip my hair of all the moisture. So because I still have some dirt, just a little bit of dirt left in from when they use a gel to do my hair. And I didn't want to wash my hair for the third time because I don't want to strip off of all this moisture. I added um, Aretha to the mix. Aretha is a natural, um, I think they'll call it the Indian gooseberry. Or that might be it, or that maybe the Sakai. I'm not too sure, but it is a natural shampoo. It's like soap, nut. So I added that to it so it could cleanse my hair while treating my hair and still retain its moisture. So, and I and I want to do this because I used to do this a lot back years ago, and it used to help, it helped my hair grow a lot uh, and stay healthy for healthy. But and because I'm doing this postpartum treatment, I'm trying to get my hair hair back to its health. Is why I want to do this treatment and continue. I kind of want to bring it back into my hair care. Is the only thing about these kind of treatment is so time consuming, you know. Um, I have a baby now, as y'all know. I don't have time to spend six hours on my hair, so I try to do as minimal minimal as possible. I have hair oils that I've been marinating <laughs> in these herbs for years. Yes, years that I'm going to use to um, treat my hair as well. I'm going to add it to a conditioner, but that's later on. Um, I'm trying to just minimize the steps as much as possible. Yeah, I'm just parting my hair to put in the treatment. I originally wanted to actually add, um, do a henna treatment or a cassia treatment, but I thought I had some, but when I went to go look, I didn't have any. So that's why I forget it. I'm gonna do this treatment instead. So, so again, like you mix it until it's kind of not super fine, but you know, smooth, smooth enough. And then you go in and just put in your hair. Also, there's no specific measurements, only because it all depends on the thick thickness and the length of your hair. That's why in the video you can see me going back and adding more. There's no specific. It's just look at your hair, look at the thickness of your hair, look at the length of your hair, and you kind of eyeball how much you, you will need. All right, so just try to get it on as much on each strand as much as possible, okay? And wear a shirt that you don't really care about because this stuff is green, as you can see. I'm like, 
hoping it doesn't stain my nails. I'll be, I'll be blown. Um, also, when you do, like, later on, when I do, I know um, you probably heard of henna treatment. I prefer Cassia treatment because henna dyes your hair red. Not like a bright red, but not like a nice deep red. And I have gray hair, so I don't, I don't like the look of it. It gives it like a yellow look, which I don't like. And Cassia is the same thing as henna. Not the same, it's obviously different, but you get the same benefits without the dye. So next time I'll do a Cassia treatment instead. And sometimes, too, um, I add the Cassia with all the herbs I just added with it. And you know, Indians be having a nice, thick, dark hair. Oh, and when I, real I realized that um, back in 2020 when I used to do this treatment like every weekend, I realized my hair didn't shed as much as compared to when I wasn't using it. So you lose less hair, so you retain more length and retain more volume than if you was to not use it. So, so my hair is still, some part of it is still very knotted from the braids. I try or not and comb out a lot of knot as much as possible. But you know, I did the best I can. I got that to do, right? Baby got cook. Can be on hair treatment all day. So when I put this in, I'm gonna keep my hair for about an hour for it to marry. I can sit under a uh, steamer and let it steam. But once again, I got I got things to do. So I'm put. I'm gonna do this. Put a bag over it. Good old bag <laughs> to steam the hair. You know. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and cook. And then come back to it. And then I'm gonna do my deep conditioner. And my deep condition, like I said, I'm going to add my oils that I've been marinating for years. You know, and it's, so it's very, very, very potent. And then I'm going to deep condition my hair. And then, um, let that sit about 35 five minutes. So I'll part this. This down. Mm -hmm. So just try and get it on the strands as possible. Try to keep apart it. It's okay to have on the scalp. You know. So and Ayurvedic is like a whole. I think it's a form of religion, not religion, but some some form of belief or something, a lifestyle. I don't follow the whole thing. I just like the hair treatment because it's very good. It's, you use natural herbs that God already provided <laughs> the earth, the humans. Um, but everything else, I don't really follow. Or not even really. I don't follow because I'm a Christian, so I follow Jesus. But um, the haircut, like I said, I like it a lot. It's very effective and it works. My hair grew so much during 2020, especially because of the pandemic. My hair wasn't out, so. I'll take it out, treat it, put it in braids, and just keep that cycle going. Oh, by the way, this thing is also very messy. So, if that's another reason why I kind of stopped, apart from it being time consuming and messy. It being time consuming, it was also very messy. So, if you're, if you're doing it, make sure that um, you got cleaning supplies by hand and paper towels and, you know, you're okay with like, or put something on the floor or by the window or by your mirror so it doesn't get on it. But once you clean it up, it goes away. It doesn't really stain anything. I know it's green, but it doesn't stain. And I'm pretty rough on my hair. Don't be like me when it comes to this. <laughs> pretty rough. I should be gentle, actually. It's a habit. And habits are hard to break. Her mother's worse than me, actually. Oh my gosh, when I see her comb her hair, I just be wanting to smack the comb out of her hands. It's like she's beefing with her hair. It's so ridiculous. You see, if I did not add more, I would have to go back. And that's a thing that I hate. If you don't have enough, you have to go back and remix it. Ugh, I don't have time for that. So, so this is where my ball spot is so I'm just going to put as much as there as possible okay. nice and saturated or nice and moist 
Some people hate that word. I think it's funny. Okay. Look how thick this hair is. Come on, let's go. And because, I think because I was still using, um, putting Ayurvedic um, hair oil or grease or cream into my scalp while I still have my braids. I, though I'm going through postpartum, my hair is still very, very thick and voluminous, you know. And the only thing, the only thing I don't like about, you know, going really taking care of their hair using oils it be staining oh my headboard is so stained it's so annoying your pillows and your pillowcases and your bed be stained even with the bonnet on the oil be seeping through the bonnet so i've just come to a point where i just put the oils in my um deep conditioners and if i do oils I'll put it yeah I put in my deep conditioner and if I do oils in my scalp I'll put in my put in my hair very early so by the time it's nighttime it has at least seeped a lot of it has seeped into my scalp then it's just still being very fresh and thin on top of the skin and I try to be minimal as possible so I don't stain and I have a lot of white and light color sheets too so that's on that's another downside about using natural oils and Stuff like this in your hair, it stains your sheets a lot. But ain't nothing bleach can do. <laughs> I just haven't gotten to it. I'm trying not to bleach my stuff like that because I need it to last long. They are stains so. You see, I'm. I still have hair left. There's only a little bit left. You really gotta really know, like measure out how much you need. But you learn as you go. And obviously the amount of water you put in determines how thick or how liquid it's going to be. You could definitely thin it out, but you know. Oh, and also though I wash my hair with a regular shampoo, usually I like to wash my hair with clay. Bentonite clay, Moroccan red clay. Clay is so great, and your hair is so nice and soft after you wash your hair with clay. Yes, as you can wash your hair with clay. I like to liquefy it so it's an easier wash and less messy um, than the uh, the mask. But because I had my hair in braids for so long, I didn't think clay will. I don't know is it? It probably can, but because I had like dirt trap, I really wanted to use a shampoo that will like strip it all of the dirt. And even look at that, I still have some dirt left so but next time I wash my hair next week or next two weeks I will definitely do a clay wash and just go back into doing clay wash um, until I decide to switch it up I usually do shampoo when I want I need something quick because I have things to do but I like the clay wash when I have time because once again the natural oil stays in your hair and you know strip it so all right, so that's how that looks. I have a little bit of um, the herbs left, so I'm going to put on the rest of my hair. Oh, my hair got so long and thick. I haven't seen my hair in almost a year. Like for real, for real, because every time I take it out, I put it right back in braids. Every time I take it out, I put it right back in braids, because honestly, it makes life so much easier. Going to work, you don't have to think about doing your hair. Taking out, twisting on nothing. You just go. We missed that. But like I said, it's time for me to take my hair out because of hair loss and my husband missed my fro. I miss my fro too, so. And plus, I wanted my son to see me without braids so I don't scare him when he gets older. So I'll just, let me just take it out now so he can get used to seeing me in both braids and um, fro. Mm hmm. Ooh, there's some good stuff. Ah, uh, nice and saturated. Look how thick my hair is. Ah, uh, hey girl. Hey girl. Mm hmm. So nice and thick. Uh-oh. 
we got length in the front. My friends always just short. Let me not gas myself because shrinkage hates me. It's always at my doorstep. I get hype about my hair, my hair growing, then shrinkage make me look like I just cut my hair. So, but I'm gonna enjoy it for now. Oh, and then when you're mixing certain herbs, like when you're doing clay mat, um, clay wash or clay mask, you don't use anything metal because of is a bentonite clay because of his chemical making. I don't give you all this information prior, but because of his chemical making, it um uh, it doesn't interact well with metal. So when you do these um when you do bentonite clay, use plastic. And this thing, though it doesn't have that caution. I just try to play safe and just use plastic for everything. And that's why I use plastic or wooden, anything but metal. That's why I use the wooden spoon and that's why I use the um, plastic container. Also, fenugreek is big in a lot of Indian food, cooking, hair care, because it's so good for you. Also good for you as a pregnant woman. Um, it helps with breast milk production as well. So a lot of these herbs have so many, so many, so many um, benefits. And also, when you're doing this, it's best that you wear like a dark colored shirt because, for obvious reasons, it's messy. Yeah, so this is done. Now I'm gonna put it back over it. Let it marinate. Get it into my scalp. Ooh, get myself a little scalp massage. And then, you know, I'm gonna get my fish ready to make fish stew for the week because I cook for the week okay because only got time to be cooking every other day and I part in half put some in the freezer and put some in the fridge but when I don't cook during the week if I want something different because I'm tired of what I'm eating yep that's what my side is looking like okay and obviously more shed hair is still going to come out once I wash it but it's cool alright that's it Let's put a bag over it. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's put a bag over this thing. Oh, this hair was so thick, man. There's gonna be a lot of twisting. Let's see. This is a common thing in the black household, okay? Back over the head. All right, now let's clean up. See you in a bit. All right, we are back, and that was not um, one hour. That was more than that, because, you know, I was cooking. So that took a little bit. I made spaghetti with the, what was it, a golden tomato? Never tried that. It was a golden tomato um sauce. Never tried this one to try it. All right, so if I go into it, I'm using the Alge, um, Camille Rose Alge Renewal. And I'm going to mix it with my oil. This look crazy, right? Um, This oil, I made this in 2021. Uh, January 3rd, 30th, 2021. He has amla, mint, horsetail, green tea, brahmi, shakakai, cassia, tea tree, olive oil, grapeseed oil, fenugreek oil, rosemary, lemongrass, right? I told you, I don't want to put stuff like this in my hair in terms of like going to sleep as a um, oil, like a scalp thing to go to sleep because it's going to stain my sheets. So what I do is... I put it in my um I put it in my I usually use a container for this but I didn't bring it down so whatever. I put it oh no I can use that container. Alright. I put it in my deep conditioner. Alright. I add it to my deep conditioner. Sometimes I'll just put on my deep conditioner and then seal it with that oil. So you know this oil is potent. Because it's been marinating for two years. Um, so I'm going to break it up like I did last time. So it's easier to. 
today. Like I said, this kind of hair trim is messy. So if you can deal with the mess, I would advise you to do it. If you don't care and you worry about just your hair growing and being strong and healthy, then go for it. Right. Now I think I'm going to seal it with the oil too when so I'm done. So. And my hair. And you know, you've been natural. You know that natural hair care is it's many hours. When I first went natural, it was an all day process, boy. Oh my gosh. I used to do my hair forever. At first, I enjoyed it. Then as I got older and got busier, I was just like, no, no, no. I need my process to be a three hour max, okay? Three hours maximum. Also, another thing I'm going to start doing again, being that I have my hair out now, and I used to do this before I started from braids, and I would do a hot oil treatment once a month, okay? I didn't do it this time because I'm like, listen, I'm not, I'm, it's, because I usually used to do either or. Either I do the hot oil treatment or I did the Ayurvedic treatment like I did earlier, like um, with the herbs itself. So, next month, or probably next week or next week, I'm going to do the hot oil treatment. We'll see, but we try to incorporate hot oil treatment in your hair routine like once a month. Okay? You're still getting shed hair, which is normal. My braids was in for a while. And like I said, postpartum so and it's not alarming because it's normal amounts of shit here okay my hair is still very thick thank god because you know what too they also tell you that once you finish giving birth to continue to take your prenatals which i have i missed like two weeks straight but i got back on it i continue to take my prenatals after um, I gave birth, I did not stop. And I'm going to continue taking it. So, that's another thing too, I got lazy with doing my hair because my hair is really thick, if you can tell. It is thick, thick, like, really thick, you know? And sometimes I lose patience and I will like, start ripping hair, trying to detangle and just, it just is not, it's not good for anybody. It's not good for my hair, it's not good for me. Because I used to get angry, like, come on, this is taking too long. So, um, yeah. So, if you know that, and some days I'm not gonna lie, where I have days I said, I don't feel like sp spending too much time on my hair, I'll go the easier route. Wash, I wash the shampoo that I used today, and I do a clay wash, and I just deep condition, and I twist after, and that's that. We are done. No hot oil treatment, no clay wash, no um, herb treatment, no none of that. It's just straight, okay? Cause some days it's just I don't feel like doing that, and that's okay. And another thing too, I also want to go back to like doing herbs and doing my doing my own DIY hair stuff, because a lot of the companies that I thoroughly enjoy i'm not gonna call out any names but a lot of companies i enjoy for many 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 years change the ingredients granted things are a little bit more uh, things are more expensive nowadays so some people that did all organic stuff can't do organic anymore but it's like keep something the same you know what i'm trying to say so it's like one brand i used to use all the time is no longer organic and on top of it, even if it was not no, no longer again and still work for my hair, I wouldn't mind. But now, it does nothing for my hair on top of it. I said, like, oh no, you gotta go. And during Black Friday, they really have some really good deals, but I see why they have good deals, because the um, the ingredients they use now is cheaper than what they used to. So, but I, once I noticed that it does nothing for my hair, it doesn't, especially, it does not moisturize my hair anymore. It does nothing, nothing at all. I stopped using it. Um, Shea Moisture is not the same. I still use some of this stuff, but I guess I wasn't gonna mention you not look at me. But, I can't 
can't. So that's another reason I started going back to my own thing because these these companies unfortunately are selling out. These black companies that keep selling to these white big brain big big brand companies. I don't know why. I, I'm not a business person yet, so I, I'm not going to condemn them. You know, I don't know the reason behind it. I don't know if it's greed. I don't know if it's I feel like dealing with them. I don't know. But what I do know is these items, these products are not the same anymore. So. I don't, I don't, it doesn't do anything for my hair. So right now, Camille Rose is the brand that I like. I don't like everything from the brand, but um, this line though, the, the deep conditioner and the, uh, the moisturizer, the algae, not the algae, the almond jai breaks very well for my hair. And that's what I've been using, you know, and once again, I mean, Camille Rose is not cheap, so I buy that joint when there's a sale. If they ain't a sale, I ain't buying it. Okay, we're going to figure something else out because it's expensive. And listen, this day and age, everybody needs to try to find a way to keep as much money in their pocket as possible. I'm sorry. So, if there are ways to save money, save your money. So, with Camille Rose, when Sally is due to sale is when I purchase uh, when she does a sale, that's not purchase. I try to purchase as much as I can during Black Friday. Um, her ingredients are still legit, you know, it's still good. So, her it, when she charges ten dollars for a tub of conditioner during Black Friday, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'll buy freaking ten of them, you know. Whereas my organs will have four, what was it four dollars, five dollar conditioners? And at first, I be yo, this is bomb, dude. Man. Start using my hair and I realize my hair doesn't respond to it like it used to or it doesn't do much for my, my hair like I used to and I look at the ingredients like oh I see why it's five dollars so yeah so that's 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 a duck for that one but I use Camille Rose mostly when it comes to conditioners and see my hair is still tangled knotted up um, when it comes to conditioners and deep conditioners and moisturizers, I know I was asked on Instagram like, who, what moisturizers do people use? Because I got bored with mine, and my hair got bored with. I could tell like, and the thing is like, when I say your hair, my hair got bored, meaning like, it didn't do what it used to do when I first started using. Because my hair got used to a lot of the items I was using. It was a lot, a lot of Camille because Camille Rose. Listen, because when they used to have a Black Friday sale. I will buy so much. You would have thought I owned a dang on natural hair salon or natural hair store. I should say because of how much items I used to have in my storage closet. Oh, I used to have so much. I see OD. So they were my jam, but not anymore. And this might be an unpopular opinion. I don't know. People might feel different, but. It's my hair, and I'm saying what works and what doesn't work. It is what it is. So, and then um, you see it later when it's time for me to twist. I did a whole quick Q and A about. The brand that people use and Uncle Funky's door that kept coming up. So I only got to use it a few times when I bought it because like I said, I wash my hair and put it back in braids. I wash my hair and put it back in braids. And that's a great way to grow your hair. So my friend had never been doing it for years. I ain't hear she had cut her hair and it just flourishing. If your hair is not sensitive and your scalp is not sensitive and you can deal with that tension in your hair on your scalp for that long, then I say go for it. I've been doing braids, wash braids, wash for about a year now. And you're right. All right, so I got conditioner everywhere in my hair. All right. Try to get the scalp as much as possible. Because the health of your hair starts from the scalp. It starts from the root. You know? 
that's biblical. <laughs> Not the hair part though. But the importance of the roots. Okay. Perfect. And I'm going to dip my hand in this thing because whatever. I don't feel like pouring it. I'm going to take the oil. And go over the condition with the oil to seal the conditioner. Still getting shed here. Still. I'm gonna keep coming. That's fine. That won't take my braid. That whole front just came out. I was like, dang. That's real. That is mad real. Oh, the oil too have rose petals in it by the way that helps some moisture as you know rose petals rose water and rose is really good for moisture so that's that now let's just clean up i'm gonna bag it for another hour it's time for us to eat lunch anyway so i'm gonna bag it for another hour Wash it out, and the last step is just um, twist my hair. If you have one of those Saturdays, I would dedicate this stream, even if you can't do it every week or every two weeks. Well, I'm not gonna do this every week; it's too much. Um, but if you in, in the days, the weeks, at weekends, I cannot do this whole treatment. I would just put the oil in my deep condition, and that'll be my treatment for the week. But if you could get this done like once a month, it will be very, very helpful and very, very um, beneficial for your hair. Um, and if you have time to do it weekly, hey, be my guest. I don't. And if I do, I don't even want to. And make sure you pick a weekend or time that you have time because you don't want to rush through your hair and get a patient and now you're ripping out your hair and defeating the purpose of this whole thing, you know, it's just a waste. Time and products and items. And the purpose is to help your hair grow and get healthy. And the thing too I like about this is like, granted my hair grew and it's getting longer, but my main focus was the health of my hair. You know, because once the hair is healthy, that's when the growth comes. There's no point of having long hair and it's unhealthy as heck, or long hair and we can see your scalp. Okay. Not the bag. I used to use clothes with bag actually. I can walk half past it, but I might as well give it multiple uses. We can probably toss it out. And usually when I when I have time I'll do a steamer. But I don't, so I don't I have time but not for that. You know what I'm saying? I, got, I still got to finish cooking my second dish, so, my second meal, I should say, so, you're not going to do that, we're going to do what we did last time. Up, up conditioner. 
And this Camaro, my hair is getting longer, so this thing don't last as long as it used to. I probably go. I probably got one more. Get one more. I probably have one more wash out of this. Yeah, just one more. So this big old tub gets me two washes, and so I'll go through. If I wash my hair weekly, I'll go through two in a month. If I do bi-weekly, I'll go through one. But the thing is, the original price is I think sixteen or seventeen dollars. That's a lot of money if you're going through it. If it's only Holding you down for two washes. That's why I like to get these things on sale during um, Sally's having a sale on them Black Friday. Cause mm -mm. <laughs> all right. So let's see. Let's let's let this do its thing, and then we'll be back again and watch that. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's like eight o'clock now. Obviously, it don't take this long, but I've been just cooking, cleaning, doing my hair, doing other things around the house. So, um, I've basically been doing my hair all day, and that's that's fine. Um, I have a t-shirt on. If you don't know, t-shirts is better than a towel because it is softer. Um, cotton, on, and it's, it's easier on, on the hair. It doesn't make it, um, no, when you use a t-shirt, it really, really super dry out your hair. And the t I mean, when you use a towel, it super dries out your hair. And the t-shirt don't do that. So, I like to use a t-shirt as a towel. Um, so, this is what we're looking like. Hair feels nice and soft. Ooh. The scalp is very tender right now. feel nice and soft or soft. So now I'm going to do I have some residue from where is this from? Probably from um oh the oil because I didn't strain it because I was being lazy. So I have residue from um, some of the stuff in the oil which is fine. It's not a big deal. Um whatever. It's natural that's why I like natural stuff. So you, even if you have something in here it's not the end of the world. Even if you have something in your hair, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Stuff is coming up. All right, so I am going to section my hair once again. I will section it in fours. It makes life easier. And it makes get do my hair seem a little quicker. Things are just a mind thing though, but it's easier though for sure. I don't know if we make doing the hair quicker. Because <laughs> the amount of hair on your head doesn't change. <laughs> just these sections are off, but it feels quicker, so it's a mind trick, okay? Okay. Gonna do this for just a section of the hair. This little back here and I have like a permanent <laughs> but I got a section because my hair is super thick I got a section in the middle so it's not completely four because I can't include the middle with the top it's, no the clip won't stay so I got a section in the middle and this section besides perfect so I need one more clip I have it, but one of these so what I like to do is I usually use, like to use aloe vera juice um, to spray it before. I don't have any. I don't feel like using water because it's already it's still damp, so there's no need for me to use water. But I like to comb it up with a Denman brush. This is classic Denman brush. Um, 
and so my hair feels super soft right now so i don't have to put any products in it so to um brush it usually if i don't do this um treatment i will have to so i'm using the um good hair by uncle uncle funky's daughter so i'm going to just put put a little bit of that on here not too much just smells like oh it's a smell that i know some type of candy oh what smell what candy is that something mango let me try this again okay let's see where we're going so i'm going to put a little bit of that then i'm going to use a little bit of the the dew oh hands are slippery I'm going to use a little bit of the dew I don't want OD because I don't want it to be super caked up or have product build up or any type of residue. All right? And because I use I use those two for the style, I'm going to use the do most def. Oh, most def. I didn't realize it said most def. That's funny. Says so a phone, right? Because sometimes when I use a foam, if I didn't use, let's see how it works. This is my first time using the do um, cream in my hair. Because usually if I don't use that, I just use just the Uncle Funky and just the foam. My hair is not, as, it's nice and curly. I love that. But it's not as moisturized as I, as I like it. So I need something heavier. I also like to use the Camille Rose um, Almond Jai as a cream to moisturize my hair. So over here, I'm going to do a braid out. I prefer my hair in a braid out because it elongates my hair more than a twist out, and my curls stay longer than the um, uh, in the braid. When does it? My curls stay longer. Uh, it start. It stay. It stay. Oh, uh, what am I saying? And my curls stay curly longer when I do a, a braid out than a twist out. And like I said, it elongates it. Whereas compared to a twist out, my hair shrinks a lot. And it's really annoying. It look like my hair. I've been magical for 12 years or 11 years. My hair's still not growing. <laughs> so I like braids out better. And I like to twist the end. So it's a nice curl. If you don't twist it, you, you realize your ends are like stringy and dry. So I like to twist the end when I get there. And I twirl it around my fingers. So it keeps it curl. You see that? So I'm going to do the same thing. Since I already put the Uncle Funky's daughter. Then the cream, then my foam. I think I already put the foam in already. Right? And I'm going braid out. And you see how nice and juicy my braids are when I'm done. Alright, so we are done. This thing looking nice and juicy. I could sell it's going to be some good curls. Do you, do you see do you see the curl? Like, do, do, do you see that? Do you see the curl? I really, like you guys really twist the end of your hair. It makes it so much better. Um, Cause the curl goes all the way to the end and not get to this part and then get frizzy. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was long, <laughs> but I hope it's informative. All of the powders, I got it from um, Amazon. And if you, some states have a lot of, they have neighborhoods with a lot of um, Indians or um, people from the Middle East. So you could go to your shops where, you know, the grocery shops, you could find that there as well. But easier to just find it and get it at Amazon. Um, I'm going to link, actually, I'm going to link all the powders that I got below. Yeah, I hope it works for you. I hope it doesn't tear out your hair. It shouldn't because everybody I know that use these powders love it and never had any problem with it so maybe one day when i do my clay wash i will also film it but we'll see because doing here is it's a lot it's a lot but don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like so if you use this and your hair takes to it please let me know if you know more about ayurvedic hair care that i don't know please share there are more powders and herbs is out there with the ayurvedic i just i don't i just use what i like and what i know um so but if you know more, 
that you try that you love, do not forget to share. And yeah. Okay. Bye. Until next time.